Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are discussing bid opportunities and beta.sam. It is now the actual third quarter of the fiscal year. So if you are not familiar with the government's fiscal cycle, they end on September the 30th. And so now we're in April, May, June, which is the third quarter. July, August, and September is the fourth quarter. And for those of you who may not be aware, if you visit our website, govcongiants.com forward slash pricing, you'll see some of our courses, instructional materials, and also we do have mentoring and coaching available. I know we've been getting asked that question a lot. But in today's video, we're going to discuss beta.sam.gov. We're going to take a look at what are some of the opportunities for the fourth quarter. It looks like I've been signed out, so we will go ahead and sign me back in. And let's start off in beta.sam, and we want to look at contract opportunities. So I'm going to click here, click contract opportunities, do a quick search. And remember, in the fourth quarter, they are making all of their contract decisions. But in the third quarter, what the government is doing is they're actually meeting with contractors, they're discussing, uh, they're doing market research and finding out who is the best potential contractors to work with. So now is the time to make those phone calls, send those emails, get in front of the, the five players that you need to meet, go back and watch the video that we did with Judy Bratt, get in front of those program managers, get in front of the decision makers, get in front of the influencers, get in front of site managers, engineers, whoever it is that you need to get in front of to find out how you can help solve some of the government's challenges, needs, problems that they have, and create opportunities for yourself. So we're going to look at here where they actively post some of those challenges, some of those needs, and a lot of that market research here in beta.sam. So the first thing we're going to do is going to look at sources, saw notices. And then I want to see those published in the last week. Click the filter button, and it gives me 529 results. So we're going to download that because in beta.sam, because it is a beta version, it's still really difficult to navigate. So we download that, click CSV file, click the download button, and once it downloads, we then reopen it back in Excel. And so once we open it back in Excel, it looks like this. And so this is our Excel file of our opportunities, and we can go through them and scroll through all 529 in seconds. Right. We can also use Excel to search for keywords and to be able to filter, uh, sort, and a whole bunch of other cool things that, truthfully, beta.sam really doesn't allow you to do. So let's go through and look at this market research. Um, this source of thought, again, for those who don't know, it's called source of thought. Sometimes people say RFI. Some people call it market research. This is your opportunity to get in front of the government and find out what it is that they're looking to procure in the next, in the recent time, right? So I, I wouldn't say it's necessarily the next 30 days. Sometimes it can be immediate. Sometimes it can be 30 days. Sometimes it could be three months out. But they are doing market research, and it's a great avenue to pursue. So let's, let me make a caveat. Let me make a caveat first. To pursue if you have all the qualifications. So if you do not have all the qualifications to meet these requirements, then you're really wasting your time. But if you do have all the qualifications, um, or if you can put together a team of people, of companies that can um, show on paper, demonstrate that you have the ability to meet all these qualifications, then this is a great avenue to pursue. And again, who can't, given the information, put together a team? Because they're telling what they're looking for, what they're asking for. You just have to assemble all the moving parts and pieces together. So let's just go through a couple of these opportunities real quick. Uh, software upgrades. That sounds interesting. They've got dredging project, controllers. And I'm going to pull up this other screen because here it's a little bit bigger uh, for those of you who may be stretching the eyes. So I don't want everybody to stretch the eyes. Overhead crane design, installation, removal, and disposal. I know some people that do cranes. Um, this is for logistics. Qualified contractors seeking to perform. Let's see. Okay kind of logistics services. Uh, and what, what we'll do, we're going to get into some of these, right? So we'll, I normally, on these videos, I go down into them and we do analysis. Blood donor specimen testing services. Uh, installation moving. Oh, this is cool. Okay. This is uh, moving from a post. So let's pull, let's pull this one up. This one looks pretty neat. So I come here, copy it, jump back over to beta.sam under keywords, paste. 
right? And then we open it up. All right, I'll open it. And then we tap. And we'll take a look and see what. All right, so here we go. Installation moving, BPA. BPA stands for what? Blanket Purchase Agreement. So Blanket Purchase Agreement, this is good. Long-term contract. All right, it wants to pull it down, so it's downloading the files. Let's go ahead and download it. Pull it up on the big screen here and see what we have. All right. This is the write-up. Tells us what we're looking for. Now, this is interesting because it gives you clans. So this is a pretty thorough document they're giving you here to understand what the full scope is of these services. Pricing, everything. I mean, this is this is pretty thorough. All right, let's see. Director of Public Works. All right, so you're actually moving a person. All right, so this is interesting because really uh, it looks like, all right, Fort Worth Gans, installation moving BPA, June 5th, June 4th, 2026. All right, so it looks like you'll be moving that person. Um, and again, without reading and getting all the details, I'm just but based on that, that those line items, looks like that's what you're proposing. But again, this is a great way, right? This is uh, likely to be a simplified acquisition. So if you are a small business company um, and you have any of the designations, women-owned, hub zone, whatever the case may be, you can submit here, right, and let them know that. And it's interesting because this says it's a small business set aside. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. So, uh, oh, okay, all right, great. All right, so it is, it's still a source of sought. It's still the source of sought notice. So it's still source of sought notice. Um, it was a little confusing the way they, they included this particular document, but it is a still a source of sought notice, which means that, and I believe it's going to fall under simplified acquisition because it looks small. That means that they can actually sole source this particular project to you. So uh, given the nature that it is uh, in the source of sought phase, uh, you can submit that you and show them and demonstrate how you can actually perform these types of services and give yourself a shot at doing the actual moving. So this is a good one for someone. I hope one, someone listening out here uh, actually pursues this. I'd be curious to see what happens. Also, if you do pursue it, let me know. Look at this, prep school assistant football coaches. How many football coaches do you know that are actually going to be looking at this type of website, right? Not many. So again, like this is kind of stuff that I, I tell people about. That it's it's just we know these the people that do services like this, but we're not letting them know about it. So they're not they're not going to be accessible. So I would orbit floor machine, uh, depot level repair and maintenance support, chemosphere monitoring system, media blasting booth system, rotary pumps, interface. What else? Elevator maintenance. Mobile command post trailers. That's pretty neat. Trailers are pretty easy. We're looking for worship leaders. Industry day event. Notification. So this, this. Um, let me just show you guys. It looks to me that this was classified form. Y'all messed up over here. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I didn't flip the screen. All right. Let's see what we're looking for. Robinson Virtual Industry Day. All right. So look at this. The government, the Air Force seeking companies who have reverse engineering repair development capabilities. This is interesting. Um, what they're adding, they're asking to produce quad charts. If you have not already, we have a video on quad charts, and we actually even have a free download on examples of quad charts. I want to dig a little bit further into this one because this is this is pretty cool. EB Joint Stars Network Accelerator. All right. 
So the government's looking for someone to reverse engineer these particular components. All right, so this sounds like, uh, actually, I have a, you know, there's a couple students that do this kind of stuff. People that are in manufacturing, this actually makes a lot of sense for them um, to make these extruders and things uh, for this particular plant. So this is, this is actually nice. And then not only that, it gives you the price that they pay for this stuff. So this is a, that's actually a pretty nice opportunity. I like that one. Uh, I'm actually just going to highlight this. I got some people in mind that I know would be interested. And so, you know, you see how interesting, th you know, it's fascinating that this, it's called Virtual Industry Day, right? And then they're look, but here it does say reverse engineering, repair development capability. So that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Uh, temporary structure for screening area. Uh, temporary structures are pretty standard. You can buy those off the shelf nowadays. Um, but again, look into it and find out. Trailer rentals, anyone can provide trailer rentals. That, that's very simple, basic, easy to start with. Um, Armed Force Recruiting Center. Okay, so they're looking at lease office space, five years. Uh, all my realtors out there, uh, you know, people from in the real estate industry always call me, and I show them this stuff, and they still don't get it. Um, Five-year IDIQ for hand pumps and supported general purpose electronic test. Okay, that's interesting. Looking for hand pumps. All right, that's interesting enough. Uh, scientific technical IDIQ. All right, no more. Uh, I won't, we need to go into the details. I'm not going to get into that one because it's partisan. There's an Air Force Base single work task order contract uh, to construct facilities. So, again, if you are near Shriver Air Force Base, I don't know where that's at, but let's take a look and see where's Shriver Air Force Base. I'm sure that if you know Shriver, See, Trevor Air Force Base, Colorado. Okay, cool. All right. Let's see. Coral Housing, uh, DLA. He's looking for research. IDIQ for thermal imager, supportive system test equipment. The government, if if you notice, they are going towards a lot more IDIQ. So it's it's great that you can learn how to do them, how to qualify for them, how to participate. Let me go over to the bigger screen for those people who are saying that the document is too small. Let's close it up. Back. I'm just going to hide this title. Uh, you know what? I can't hide it because I need. If I want to share it, I need to copy and paste. But let's keep going. Professional organizer services. Let's see. That sounds interesting. Professional organizer services. That sounds like something that a lot of people can do. All right, let's go back over here and see what that's all about. I, I think this stuff sometimes is just fascinating, the fact that uh, there's all these different variable items. And while we're doing that, I want to see the one above it as well. Small business event, Verizon Partner. Let's look at this Verizon Partner event. Let's grab that one. And then we'll look at both of these. So this is professional organizer services. Let's see, VA hospital. I think that professional organizer for a chapter thirty one veteran. Okay. So service to disabled veterans are likely to get it. All right. So if you're a veteran, service to disabled veteran, uh, you're likely to be considered for this particular opportunity. Uh, I do not know what it is. Uh, and I'm not really going to go into it just because it's, it's you know, I, I, I think it's the, uh, I think better use our time here today. Verizon Park Ecosystem Virtual Business Opportunity, VA Hospital. All right. All right, so this is an event with Verizon taking place uh, between January 8th. Next to January 8th, 1 30 to 2 30 p.m. All right. So we can get the info here at B Bell. So, uh, partner ecosystem virtual business opportunity session with Verizon Communications. So, eh, nothing exciting. All right, moving on. Let's keep, keep it going, keep it going. Obstacle course. Hey, that sounds pretty cool. Look at that, an obstacle course. Contract show build and construct a concrete. Obedience course obstacles between barrels, tunnels, stairs, and top slides. 
That's pretty cool. I like that. I hope, I hope one of you does obstacle course. Uh, retirement seminars. Listen, how many of you veterans out here are retired? Look at that. Let's see. Retirement seminars. FDIC. Instructional services for retirement seminars for mid-career and end of career. Oh, boy. This would be cool. I'm highlighting this. This should be really neat. Retirement seminar. Copy it. No, you get that. Look at that. Request for information retirement seminars. It's so funny because there's people here that do training services that will not make it to this point in the video. I promise, promise, promise you. Uh, there's a lot of people who do training, and they won't make it to this point of the video. So sorry, so sad. Not really. Um, a lot of people think that they watched the first two minutes and they got everything, and then they miss out on this. Look at this. Wow. Mid-career retirement planning seminar for employees who are within 10 20 years of retirement, seminar to full enable employees, develop appropriate financial retirement plans, make strong decisions, da 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 I guarantee there's people out here that already have this training in place that do it. You can probably buy this training if you had to buy it. Um, so, yeah, find out, contact us, and figure out how can you can participate because this is something that I promise you, there's someone out here that already has this and they're ready to go, and you just have to align yourself with the opportunity. So, sort of announcement for repair. Uh, let's keep going. So Go back to the big screen for everyone out there who's having some auto like automatic gun barrels, uh, design bid, design bid build, construction, MATOC in Japan, architect engineering services, ultrasonic testing, uh, custom semi trailers, audit services, modulators. And no, we will not go through all 500 opportunities. I just like to look through this stuff. Uh, lease of office space. Early warning systems, electric meters, data collection. Yeah, I just like to go through and give people some ideas because when you're listening and you're taking this stuff in, uh, you're saying to yourself, hey, I, you know, what is it that I could do? And when you're looking at the actual uh, solicitations that are out for bid, you're not finding anything that makes sense because a lot of times what happens is they'll put it here as a source of SOC and then only the people who respond to the source of SOC, they'll send it out to them for bidding, or they may turn it into a sole source. So a lot of times, if you are not doing this, you're missing out on a huge opportunity for your business, for your company, and or your, your partner companies, giving partners, and whatnot. Uh, paving IDIQ, pharmaceutical waste disposal, I saw that coming. Um, with all of this PPE stuff, there's got to be more uh, ways to dispose of all of these additional masks that can be left around and also to associate debris with all of these items. Hair aircraft, hangar door repairs, uh, IDIQ. What is this one? Okay, $49 million IDIQ. Maytok, love it. Uh, drug supplies, waste management services, long-term plans. What else? And yeah. Professional consulting assistant services. Okay, let me just pull this up. I want to kind of see what this is about really quick. Um, this is a little interesting. All right. Professional Consulting Assistant Services, BLA. We've got a performance work statement draft here. Reports, track, transaction manual, help ticket, source file management, meeting management, end user training, and system testing. Okay. Um, I know some people that do stuff like that. There's some people that we that we associate with that do that kind of business. Um, that's something I do. Peer-to-peer -peer residential data. Tree removals in South Carolina. Hello, who can't remove trees in South Carolina? Can't be that hard. All right. 
I've removed a lot of trees. In fact, we made a lot. We made some money um, doing uh, grounds maintenance and landscape. So, uh, wood paint requirements. Office space in Portland, Maine. Uh, work radiology workstations. RFI for small business manufacturers of medical and dental equipment. I think Maria had someone that used to make some dental equipment before. All right, manufacturer of medical and dental equipment. Matter of fact, man. And do I think you've got some people that make medical equipment? Um, proposed training facilities. That sounds cool. Looks like they're going to build a train facility. Water blasting services and training. 3D glass battery placement. What else? What else? Junior Cadet Leadership Talent, Camp Pueblo. Groundwater monitoring. AC unit replacement in Australia. Oof. But, but, this is always someone who asks me, can, Eric, can I do government contracts and I'm not even a citizen? I've got a thousand videos that talk about this. and They ask the same question every time. So, again, if you look at the government's buying services in other countries, they're being, a lot of that is not being done by Americans. They're being done by the local workforce. We may export the managers and the people to oversee the contracts and be responsible but the actual work performed on the ground is going to be local workforce. So to answer that question is a resounding yes. What else? Mail mach machine lease, mailing machine lease. Okay, for mail machines. Uh, I know some people that were in the that space before. Dry cargo charter. Interesting enough. I know people that done uh, some hauling across. Rental equipment, of some forklifts. Uh, what else? By the way, if you see anything here, stop me. You can feel free to stop me if you see anything. All right, you can't stop me because this is recorded. Government-owned contractor operated alongside aircraft refueling services. Um, I know some people that do aircraft refueling services. Security screening, transmission power, okay, uh, war-related illness and injury study center, web-based surveys and questionnaires for research study. I, I think that this, we have some people out here that have that ability to do that. And the ones I'm highlighting, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually put inside of the video. Just um, for ease of use for folks out there. I think the ones I was citing. There's another uh, virtual event taking place. Schneider Electric. And by the way, how many people um, watch, got a chance to watch my micro-purchase video with Judy? If you did not watch that video with Judy Brat on micro-purchases, you may want to tune in to that video. Fascinating stuff, fascinating stuff. Also, the interview we just did with Rafa. Rafa, uh, she is on her seventh contract last year, and now she's partnering to do a mentor protege with a large firm that's going to help her grow her business more. So if you missed that video with Rafa, take a look at that one. Good stuff. Uh, while we're scrolling through... Problem statement, detainee communication services, aircraft parts, pharmaceuticals, ooh, autonomous vehicles and self-driving car research study. I know there's some college kids that are probably doing a study very similar in nature of this. Where are my college kids who are doing studies on autonomous vehicles? Come on. I know there's people who already have these reports. Remember, a lot of the grant money that your college is getting comes from the federal government to help fund research. So a lot of times you probably already evaluation of drug, drug efficacy and a rat model of neuropathic pain. All right, where's the people who are out there testing these things? I know we've got some folks out here that do all of this stuff. Um, come on, I want, I want three more good things. Hang on, give me seven more minutes of your time. I promise you it won't kill you. Give me seven more minutes. Source of thought for copier lease maintenance services. Nah, not exciting enough. 
ceramic tile restoration services. I'm pretty sure if you were, if you can do this, ceramic tile restoration services, and you respond, and you're a veteran or a service disabled veteran, they're likely to negotiate this with you. PPE suits. People say they're still not buying PPE. Yeah, they are every day, all day. The government's still buying PPE. Mac contracts. All right. We've got eleven uh, Mac contracts. They're out. To, oh, Japan. Oh yeah, this is all Okona stuff. IDIQ, five year contract for Navtech. Design build. Let me take a look at that because I, I, you know, I work with those people. So let me, for my edification, let me take a look at that and see what's going on over here. I want to make sure I'm not missing nothing. Yeah, th look, these are all things that I do as well. Ah, uh, Japan. Okay, so no, can't do Japan. All right, uh, looks like they're, if, but if you are in Japan, Chair Glide Mover, they are, looks like they're, all those contracts are coming up for renewal again, so they're putting them back out. So the people who had them before, a Myrtle Beach Vet Center, at least 5,000 square foot of space, okay. Uh, yeah, they're putting those back out again, and you'll see that. And again, there is, I'll show you in another video how to read the IDIQ, because the uh, inside of the IDIQ, is the actual date at which it was issued. So uh, if it's five years, you could assume five years from now, they're going to be re-upping those IDIQs. All right? All those people who are still with me, all the people who are still with me, stick with me. Software, bird waste cleaner. Ooh. Somebody's got to do it. Um, rest from Overwatch, rest from trailers. Homeless Veterans Emergency Care Services. I know people that do that. Uh, I'm thinking of Stephanie. She does uh, care services for people. And I know Lalani got into um, some housing things as well. So we got some people in the group that do this. All right, what else? Robotic processing. Robotic process automation monitoring. That is, oh my goodness, my man, where you at, Dr. Sonny? I'm sending this to you right now, brother. This is, I, 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 you're probably not watching this video, but I got your back. See, when people, when you tell me, when you tell me what it is that you do, and I know you, and I work with you, and you're a student of mine, I keep in mind all of these things as well. So once I get to learn about you and your business, then I'm monitoring stuff for you, and then when people need me to help make connections, I make those connections. Uh, that's how Rafa started off, and Ash, you'll see Ash coming up in a, in a recent video. But yeah, we have someone that's doing uh, RPA, and so I definitely want him to consider that. Uh, and so I'm I'm actually happy for those people who stayed on towards the end. Let's see, what else we have? Um, Constructor Design Fire Station, IDIQ. By the way, I'm going to do something. For those of you who stayed on to the end, send me an email, eric at govcongiants.com. We are working on a new workbook, um, and so it's a journal that goes over your activities for government contracting. If you send me an email, say that you watch this video, you stay to the end, I will send you a copy for free. It's a PDF document, okay, um, but it's really, really good. In fact, if you hang on a little bit longer, I'm going to pull it up on the screen, and I'll share it with everyone. Design, build, design, build, IDIQ. Data center cleaning services. Hey, cleaning services. All right. Janitorial. U.S. Coast Guard surveyor. All right, cool. So we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, so that that's the, that wraps up that particular episode. We're going to close out. Thank you for watching. And But since you stayed on here, let me see, let me pull up a copy of our action plan journal. In fact, I'm going to put it up on the screen here so you can see it. Okay. And so this is our action plan journal that we just, like, we're working on it. See, it's 164 pages. Uh, this is our action plan journal that we're working on. And for all of those people who actually stayed to the end of this video, send me an email and I will send you your action plan journal. So thank you for staying to the end and watching the video. It's Eric, E-R-I-C, at GovConGiants.com. 
And I would be happy to send an action plan journal. Also, by the way, learn about our paid course over at GovConGiants.com forward slash pricing for more information. Join now almost nearly 1,000 people who are taking their government contracting business seriously and wanting to get ready for what's about to come with the new administration and all the trillions of dollars we're spending in federal government business place. Thank you so much for watching. As always, take care.